What if the culprit behind late onset hearing loss is not what we typically suspect? What if it's something more elusive, more stealthy? This is where enters idiopathic intracranial hypertension or IIH. An uncommon cause of hearing loss characterized by its rarity and a highly variable symptom profile. Take for instance the case of a 24-year-old woman. She presented with reduced hearing and pulsatile tinnitus in her right ear accompanied by giddiness. A typical case of hearing loss, you might think, but as we delve deeper, we uncover a different story. Administering a detailed audiological test battery, we discovered a bilateral type A tympanogram which present ipsilateral and absent contralateral reflexes. Pure tone audiometry or PTA showed normal hearing sensitivity in the left ear, but severe mixed hearing loss in the right. Despite the mixed loss, her autocaustic emissions or OAs were present bilaterally, while further investigations revealed more inconsistencies. The neurodiagnostic auditory brain snow response or ABR showed normal findings in the left, but abnormal ones in the right. Reduced amplitude was noted in the right ear for cervical vestibular evoked myogenic potentials or CVEMS, while ocular vestibular evoked myogenic potentials or OVEMS were absent on the left side. A video head impulse test and video mystomography revealed abnormal saccades on the right side. All the puzzling results pointed to a definitive presence of a retrocopal pathology and suggested further medical investigation. While an MRI scan showed no remarkable findings, a contrast MRI revealed the elusive culprit, idiopathic intracranial hypertension. So what does this case teach us? The IIH can easily be misinterpreted due to its unknown clinical manifestations. That is, audiological findings can vary greatly, making diagnosis challenging. But with heightened vigilance, careful history taking, and appropriate referrals, we can unmask this stealthy culprit. This case underscores the importance of considering even the rarest causes in differential diagnosis, of not taking any symptoms at face value. It reminds us that the path to understanding and treating conditions like IIH is not straightforward, but requires us to question, to probe, and to look beyond the obvious. So the next time you come across a case of late onset hearing loss, remember the cause might be just be lurking in the shadows waiting to be discovered.